attention to my eyes. Waking up in mud, you left me to die. My heart burned cold December 29. 30 and below the day the hell froze. How did I survive? Blame it on my soul. Fire in the hole. You turn your back on me, it's clear you someone I don't even know. Being naive and jealous, she can poison anybody's soul. Ending the chapter of my life without a funeral. So grab another shovel, dig another hole. Angel on my shoulder, devil on my case But my anxiety, I can't escape I feel alive, but something strange It's all for life, but where's the pain? Recognize your face, forgot your name People come and go, that's a common thing Playing the game, people will change You think you know someone, they probably fake People will lie, straight to your face Look in the mirror, they can't relate Neither can I I'm out of place, I trust myself, people can wait, despite it all, my faith remains, Jesus was crucified, nobody changed. Oh my, dark times, feel my rage, deep inside, to survive, I can't live a lie, to survive, I can't live a lie. There's nowhere for him to go. That's how you control. Try to get in my way, to fill in the rage, to sit in my brain, and then I blast you to smithereens. Please, I'll be damned if I'm thrown on the back burner. Maniac purge in a rap server, the cat burglar who be committing mass murder. That's word of the G.O.D., the game from the P.O.V. Begging they bleed on knees, there'll be no peace, the D.O.G., I feed on beats. Wanna die, they can lean on me. No bill with us, you P.I. done built it up, you wishing you was on the field with us. I'm the healer, no deal, look at me grilled. With me, then I really rough, still we must remain calm. Nate Palm in my dang palm, I'm a dark villain like Blaze Bond, an Acom with a cape on. It ain't fun, you can't run, this is a horror flick, your life is based on. I ain't gonna say that I'm running shit, that's the shit that's the same thing about. Just go on and look at the bank account, I just don't have enough patience to take it out. This hate now, I don't suffer from no paper drought. I always win is my favorite route, my whole life I just lay it out. Being around me is a blessing, so boy you should take about. Look, I'm about to make this bitch jump. Watch me. 
Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It's never an easy decision for a fighter to change weight classes, but this week it was revealed that the popular flyweight will be moving neighborhoods to the flyweight division. It's a move that has prompted a bit of skepticism from fans and pundits around the MMA world who don't know how this will affect his future performances. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. So as this young fighter makes the walk, you gotta think he's thinking strategically about how to get this fight to the ground to set up his guard passing abilities. Great technique, plus athlete as well, and really a guy who cuts the guard with the best of them to set up a dominant position on the ground. I think a lot of opponents are sort of freaked out by just how quickly this guy transitions between positions on the ground. No doubt his opponent has prepared. Sometimes you just can't simulate an athlete like this in training. This guy is a leg lock and arm bar specialist. If he gets a hold of a limb, you are in deep trouble. All right, so here he is making his way to the octagon. This will be his first fight since moving down to this weight class, so we'll see if the results are there. He really does believe his frame is better suited for this division. Had some success up a class. Now, though, moving down, seemed to handle the weight cut without issue. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands. Five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the Doctor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, eight losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden. Pretty boy! And with the action begins, so the in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this Ready, one. Ready. Ready. First round underway. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? Round one is underway. This will be his first fight since moving down a weight class. So he struggled with the weight here during fight week. Beat the scale. We'll see if it translates into a good performance here tonight. Hit him with the jab. All right, first round is underway. You know as a submission specialist, he doesn't want to hang out on the feet for too long. Of course, every round begins on the feet, but he's going to try to take this fighter down, get it to the canvas, and try to lock up one of his submissions. Oh, double jab. Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. Wow! Nice jab lands an outside leg kick of his own. Good combination so far from both men. 
Right punches there. The kick lands. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeed. Absolutely. Caught him with a punch. And he lands the roundhouse. Trying to establish that jab once again. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. Nice one, two there. Well, he got clipped to the body there, Joe. Left his midsection wide open. He's become a little bit susceptible to that shot by almost leaning in, moving into his opponent's offense. Not a good look there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big punch. That one hurt. Just misses with the straight right. That's a hard uppercut to the head. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, straight punch. And he lands it to the leg. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Good shot. Going orthodox now. Straight right hand, no good. 30 seconds to go here. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, that was a hard one. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Second round here. All right, so here we go with round two. Good first round in the books. Both fighters had their moment. Again, I'm glad I'm not a judge, right? A difficult round to score. We will see, though, Joe, if there's an uptick in the aggression here in round two. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And he connects there, Joe. Lands a nice kick. Good punch. Total strikes. And he's looking for that left. Going to the body there with the right kick. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low. That one appeared to stun him. This could be it. He's in a lot of trouble. Hurt him with that uppercut. Oh, very nice. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Another shot here. Shoots in for the takedown. And there's a takedown attempt. Tries for a low single. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. The kick is there to the body. Stop, stop, stop. 
Didn't quite connect. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Try to establish that jab. Oh, lands that punch. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. High kick! He hurt him! He's got him hurt here. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's out! And it was a beautiful, accurate uppercut that got the job done. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. We can see it from another angle here. Here is the huge uppercut that lands right on the money and ends this fight. Check out this angle here. Boom! And then he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. The doctor. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight. And he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon.
We are the business today. Shit is finished today. All T and J. We the new PB and J. We dropped the classic today. We did a tablet of ass today. The joints with the matches and ashes away. We dash away. Donna and Dish and the pistol is rapping away. Doctors of death. Filling our patients to breath. We are the pain to trust. Fuck it and work. Hooking up curses and slurs. In the mush. I became famous for flaming you. Naming my way through the brush. There was no training or taming of me and my bra. Live like a man, but I'm animal raw. We are the murderers there. Dead with the jail and we believe the murderers there. Then with the hell and discovered the devil delivered some hurt and despair. Used to have to push. Now my pounds are the push. Holy, I'm burning the bush. Now I give a about none of this shit. Two runner over and out of this bitch. <laughs> Nowhere for him to go. Dominate that position. Great job with those strikes.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy's an arm bar and a leg lock specialist. In every fight that you see him in the octagon, he looks to secure a limb and finish with a submission. Outstanding kickboxer making his way to the UFC octagon right now. Very interesting stylistic matchup here tonight. Just an outstanding arsenal of kicks. Great punching technique. Power in both hands. Works the lead leg. Not afraid to work the body. Just a complete kickboxer here. Now plying his trade in mixed martial arts. A dangerous proposition for anyone caught in his striking range. This guy is a great striker. What he wants to do is land hard and early, get the respect of his opponent, and avoid any grappling exchanges. Hard tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, nine losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden, Richie Boy. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of six wins, one loss. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 124 pounds. Mr. Untouchable. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. So Mario Yamasaki, your third man ready in the go, octagon Mario, here you tonight. Ready? You ready? Let's here go. we go. All right, so after a loss by knockout his last time out, we'll see if this young man can regain the momentum that saw him vault into contention not all that long ago. His corner men really believe that this adversity could be something that buoys him going forward. Certainly nobody wants to be knocked out and in devastating fashion the way he was in his last fight. But now tonight, another opportunity to prove that he is one of the best in the world in this division. Now he covers up as the hammer fists are coming. And he eats a right hand there. That's a big shot right there. He's got the clinch. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Take down Lance. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. He's pounding him. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Big punch from the bottom. Nice combination of strikes from the full guard. He hits him with a hammer fist. And Dizzy, as he looks to improve position here, tags him. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, they're gonna stand him up. Try to establish that jab. 
Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Finds his range with the jab. Dropping down, looking for a single. Perfectly timed sweep. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. Oh, and reverse. Excellent movement here on the ground. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nice hammer fist. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Big punch from the bottom. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Good shot to the head. 15 seconds to go. And back to full guard. And he lands a hammer fist. The horn sounds for the look, end look, of round look, one. Look, look. Let's take a look at it again here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. That was awesome. Everything you're doing is great. You really found your rhythm and your distance there. I want you to do more of the same. His hands are getting low, so let's look. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. Here you go, second round. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, go. here we go with round two. Well, there's no denying his status as one of the better grapplers and Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners on this roster, but his striking needed to be shored up. So, to that end, he has switched gyms from a BJJ-based camp to a striking camp, and his confidence as high as it's ever been as he gets in there tonight to try to show all the improvements he has made on the feet. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches and punches, and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Yeah, it's, it's freaky. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his gloves. And he connects there, Joe. Staying busy here in the clinch. Now goes to the knee to the body. He's doing a great job of landing these knees. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Oh! Now he goes for the single leg. And he grabs a single. And he oh, lands a big right huge hand. Huge right hand. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. And he's going to try to take the back. Hammer fists blocked. He's back to side control. Look at that transition. Connects with the punch there. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Now, now he's on top in half guard. Under two minutes now to go. Good punch. Back to side control. Hammer fist. Perfectly executed sweep, and he's right into side control. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. He's got the clinch. Both fighters get up now. He grabs double underhooks here. That knee might have landed there. Oh, he 
Gets the takedown, that could be big. Oh, he's back up again, you gotta like that. Oh. His left eye starting to close up, Joe. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Able to land with the left hand there. And he lands a nice kick. Final seconds here of round number two. Good defense there. All right, that's the end of round number two. There's a nice kick to the body. Here's a powerful leg kick. There's a powerful kick to the body. We've really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. Third round underway. Blocks the shot. Effective with the jab. All right, so another strike to the body there. And Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight, not only an uptick in the... Oh, oh my goodness! He's got full guard here. Nice punch to the body. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. He's now working from half guard. Oh, he got reversed. In full guard here. Up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Tries to get out of full guard and into half, but doesn't make and it. And he connects there. See what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Big shot from the bottom. Nice. Two minutes and change to go in our third and final round. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Landing some big punches from this position. Beautifully executed sweep. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. Excellent movement here on the ground. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Now he's back into full guard. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. Well, back to his feet, Joe, but man, is he hurt. 15 seconds. Very nice sweep. What a fight. Stop. This is where you need really educated judges. And here's the end. Round one, we see a nasty punch to the head. Lands perfectly. Here's Bruce Buff. It's certainly a competitive fight. It's certainly close. The judges score cards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest. 29-28, pretty ball.
Judge two scores it, 928. Mr. Untouchable. And Judge three scores it, 928. For the winner by split decision, Mr. Untouchable. All right, so there he is, all smiles after this one as he gets his hand raised by way of decision. Nice embrace there with his coaches and his teammates. He wanted this one in the worst way. Didn't even care that he didn't get the finish here tonight. He prioritized getting his hand raised by any means necessary. Certainly mission accomplished on that front. Doubles his money along the way and certainly has set himself up now for a big fight moving forward. before a brick layer. I do. <laughs> Took a trip. Now we taking sprints. I wasn't made the job. I'm on ships. Roll it cause a grip. I'm what's major now. Stop boy. I got hot rods. It could get gangster now. Bang. Blow your brains out. See what you thinking about. By associates. I've been scarred. Fought and lost with the wall. Drop me off around the corner. Just let it run. Leave the car. Get up the road and turn. This is what I thought from Bolger City. Look your